who is suitable for CELTA? Well, um, absolutely everyone practically. Um, but I think it's worth bearing in mind just because you're a native speaker and you speak English uh, from birth or your English is really good or you're bilingual, it doesn't necessarily mean that you can teach it. Um, language teaching is extremely complex in terms of the techniques and, and processes that are involved. So I think, again, keeping an open mind and uh, looking for ways and techniques that you can use um, is a good thing to think about when you want to teach. But really, you know, you don't need any experience to do the CELTA course. You just need a willingness, an open mind and some determination and some thick skin as well, because it's, it's, it's quite hard uh, to incorporate new techniques uh, that you haven't used before. Perhaps you've been a teacher in, in another discipline before, but the, the English language teaching discipline will be different. So it's bearing in mind that there are different ways to do things um, and then in ELT in a communicative methodologies, which, which is what we use at International House, uh, will be encouraging you to do uh, certain things which are seen as good practice um, in a communicative language classroom. Um, just adding to that, uh, I think actually um, it's important to say that the CELTA course has changed a lot in the last uh, 12 or so years that I've been working on them. Um, we're seeing an increase in people who've got experience who want to do these courses. Um, and I think that's great because I think you get out of these courses what you bring to them. So if you bring experience with you, you'll get more out of the course. But again, I think you need to keep an open mind and be flexible. worth having a look at some some lessons online so having a look on YouTube and and seeing uh, some some lessons that are out there and seeing teachers uh, actually doing some teaching I think uh, the biggest tip is to keep an open mind um, I think the people that, that find CELTA difficult are those that come with a very fixed rigid idea about the way that they learn and they don't consider the way that other people learn um, so keeping an open mind, I think, is probably the most important thing. And um, realising that when you come on a course like this, your trainers have been through the process of training people for a long time um, and have got your best interests at heart. So listen to the feedback and uh, let it guide you in order to develop as a teacher. I think that's the, the, the first tip, the best tip. Well, I mean, it is, it's extremely intense. And as I mentioned before, you get out of it what you what you put in. Uh, so you know, if you put 110% in, you get it back. Now it is hard. There's a lot to, lot to cover in a short four-week course. It's going to prepare you to be a teacher that's going to go on and, and, and teach students uh, and meet their needs um, in real life beyond the course. So it is intense, and you'll be working every night, and you'll be working weekends because there are four assignments that you need to complete that back up and support the training that you're doing as well. So be prepared for lots of hard work, but it, and it is exhausting, but it's very enjoyable. And what most people say when they get to the end of it is that they don't, they, they don't want it to stop. And um, what am I gonna do on Monday? Because they've been working at such a pace. Um, it's, as I say, it is an intense experience, but it can be really enjoyable as well. Um, and uh, if you're prepared to work hard, uh, then you'll reap the rewards from the course. Well, it's difficult to say because I've trained hundreds and hundreds of people and um, over, over my years of, of teacher training. Um, generally, our courses, are we, we keep them small, so there's no more than 15 people on a course, and they're normally between 10 and 15 people, and you, and you work in smaller groups on a CELTA course as well. Um, people, uh, I get emails all the time from people who uh, are off doing interesting things in other countries. It's nice to get a postcard from a far-flung corner of the globe where someone's decided uh, to go and work. Um, I think the great thing about the CELTA qualification is it's a passport to travel. Uh, and I think about my own experience. Uh, I have, I've lived a lot in the UK, but I've travelled to lots of different places to do uh, different teacher training projects. So uh, for me, it's been a way uh, that I've been able to see the world with the certificate. So I think people go on and do lots of varied things from teaching adults. Uh, the course is obviously aimed at teaching adults, but actually um, lots of the techniques are transferable to teaching teenagers or business English uh, or teaching younger learners as well. So I think there's a, there's, a, there's a whole scope of different things that you can do. If you've got a background in a specific area like business or law or medicine, then you can, you can specialise a little bit more uh, for things that you might like to do in the future. 
with English language teaching. So there's English for specific purposes, for example. Uh, but really, I think you know there's, there's a lot of a lot of scope and, and working working abroad is obviously easier to find work abroad than it is in the UK uh, with a with a CELTA qualification.